Bible says in verse 35, as Mark closes the chapter, on that same day, when he spent the whole day teaching, on the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. You need to understand that when the disciples were with Jesus, and as Jesus was teaching, they were the last guys to get the message because they felt that this was their guy. I mean, they would spend some special time with Jesus that other people could not afford. So the Bible says, Jesus in the evening says to them, let us cross over. So number one, we learn that the storm was meant to teach the disciples what they failed to learn in the lessons. And when they tried and tried and discovered that they were failing to calm the storm, then later someone cries and says, Master, don't you care that we are perishing? And then the Bible says they arose and rebuked the wind. Let me tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, the disciples were at a moment where their lives were at risk. They were at a moment where they felt they were going to die by the Sea of Galilee. They were at a moment where they felt that all their plans, goals, and visions were perishing. But all of a sudden, they remember that there is Jesus with us in the boat. Blessed are those who will remember, my dear brothers and sisters, that as we go in this walk, we are never alone. And Jesus is not willing that any should perish. I want to say to you and me, that the disciples faced a windstorm. Yes, we know of a hurricane storm. We hear of people who lose houses because of a storm. But you and me know deep down that our problem is not the storm outside. You and me know that the problem is not the hurricane but the financial storm. You and me know that the problem is not the snowstorm, but the marital storm. You and me know that the problem is not the thunderstorm, but the, the chronic disease storm. Someone says, my storm came suddenly when someone who was so dear to me, someone who was my breadwinner died, and I faced the storm. My dear friends, one thing I know is that, yes, we are not in the Sea of Galilee, but we are in the Sea of Humanity, and we are going through storms. And the painful thing with our storms is that they come suddenly. Not only suddenly, some announce they are coming, but we are still not able to fight them. And these storms come to destroy our peace. These storms come to leave us with stress-related diseases. Jesus. The disciples say to the master, Master, don't you care if we perish? And someone says, yes. There are times I feel the master does not care. But let me tell you, the Bible says, then he arose and rebuked the wind. And he said to the sea, peace, be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Oh, what a God we save. I am saying, my dear friends, Christ had to calm the disciples as well because this was not the only storm they met. But we need to meet storms from a state of calmness because we understand who God is in our lives. When we know who God is in our lives, we will understand that he can calm the sea. We will understand that he can raise the dead. We will understand that he can provide money from the fish. We will understand what a God we save. And we will meet storms from a state of calmness. I am saying, my dear friends, we serve a God who can say, peace be still. And everything that makes noise in your life, even the things around, will keep quiet.